CoolFMOnline.com, on location at Bob Keys for Lunch with Dennis Davila, the new owner of Bob Keys for Lunch. But soon, Dennis, you are going to have a name change. And I guess technically speaking, you've got the name change already. You just don't have the signage up. Yes. Correct, correct. We're going to introduce it slowly over the next uh, two months. We're going to rename Bob Keys for Lunch, uh, the Angry German Restaurant and Bakery. The Angry German Restaurant mm -hmm. and Bakery. Well, Bob Keys for Lunch, um, been around for a, a, a few years. Prior to that, it was the Bread Basket. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle Bobke and her husband had owned for like, I, I guess, around 30 years, you know, give or take between the, the two businesses. And uh, Dennis, you... Uh, what made you decide to buy Bob Keys for lunch? Well, I've known Michelle and Peter for probably close to 30 years now. And um, this conversation started about 15 years ago, uh, back when, when it was still the bread basket and, and Peter was the baker. And um, the, the timing just wasn't right back then. And, and it's been kind of a conversation that Michelle and I have had over the years. And, and um, you know, sometimes the universe just aligns perfectly, and that's really what happened. And, and Michelle and I sat down and, and decided that uh, that now was a great time to do this, and so so that's exactly what we did. My business partner, Dwayne, and I spent several months down here making sure that we learned all the pastry recipes and all the soup recipes and uh, all the entree recipes so that as little as possible can change. We wanted to uh, we wanted to continue to honor the, 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 the restaurant that it is, Bob Keys for Lunch, while also introducing our own flair to some of the uh, some new entrees that we're going to have and, and some new pastries. And um, So we're, we're very excited to be a part of the community. Um, I actually grew up here. Originally I'm from Germany, but I did grow up here in Sierra Vista. Um, and I've lived in Tucson for the last 20 years. So uh, I kind of feel like I'm coming home. So I, uh, uh, I, like I said, very excited to be a part of it again. Yeah, it, it's it's a, a new venture for you. Have you ever owned a restaurant before? I have not owned a restaurant before. I've been running restaurants my entire adult life. Okay. Um, and um, um, but I've not owned one, so that one that one is a new experience for me. Well, and and like you say, the timing of this it was was perfect for you. And are you now the staff isn't changing? So so people that are used to Michelle's longtime staff. Um, Many of those are still staying, right? All of them are staying. We hired her entire staff. Uh, we're very excited to have them. They are a phenomenal group of people. Uh, they do uh, they do so well with 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 the uh, the recipes and with the customers that it was just a uh, it was kind of just an an easy decision, honestly. Well, Dennis, uh, you took over the restaurant now officially. Was it last week or a few weeks now? You've, you've had it, or it's been two weeks now. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. Are you planning any changes? Can you talk about that? Any extended hours? Uh, are you gonna? Right now, you're open Monday through Friday, right? Correct. So the the hours for uh, for Bob Keys for lunch are Monday through Friday from 7:30 to 2:30. For the balance of the year, we're we're gonna keep those uh, those operating hours the same. Um, and uh, as as we explore moving into uh, 2022, we'll start looking at uh, adding dinner service and and also being open on Saturdays. And then of course we'll have to add some staff in order to uh, to facilitate those changes. But right. uh, um, as of right now and for the balance of the year, it's it's going to remain uh, exactly as it was. All right. Well, this is great. We wanted to, to make sure that we get had a chance to talk to you, give you a chance to uh, uh, let the folks in the community see the uh, the new owner in this particular case. Uh, kind of a, a, definitely an exciting uh, adventure for you, a new phase in your life here. I, I, you must be um, uh, really excited about it. I, I am very, very <laughs> excited about it. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and, and like I said, this this particular restaurant is uh, it, it was a really easy decision. It really was a very easy decision. A fantastic customer base, a, a terrific team, and uh, and 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 really just a a, a a very. I I like the location. I I uh, I lived on the west side when uh, when I was uh, just before I left Sierra Vista. So it's uh, it's definitely that that return home trip for me. Uh, someone someone was asking, and we did cover it. Uh, will the menu change? The menu is not going to change, um, and or I should say the base menu is not going to change. And and what I mean by that is that those are those are a lot of community favorites on that menu. There are a lot of entrees and dishes and sandwiches that are very 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 popular. So we're going to keep all of those. What we will do is we will add some new and exciting things to it over time, 
Um, one of the first ones to look out for is going to be curry brats. That's something I'm very excited about. Uh, and then there'll be some other German entrees, and, and some of it will be kind of a, a German-American type fusion entree. But uh, So we'll have some new and exciting menu offerings, but we are not going to change the existing menu uh, or delete anything from it. And another individual, uh, Loretta, is saying uh, she would love if you were open on Saturdays. <laughs> well, well, we would love to see her, and we look forward to it, and we uh, we will be. Just give us give us just a little bit of time to make sure that uh, uh, we we acclimate to our to our new location, that our staff acclimates to 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 new ownership. We don't want to confuse or or uh, or send the wrong message. So we will we will get to Saturday here come uh, come January. Yeah, We're excited. It, it's a step by step thing. Right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, Dennis Davila, welcome to, or welcome back to Sierra Vista. <laughs> it's amazing, and uh, Bob Keys for Lunch, if people come here, that's the name right now, but after the first of the year, you're going to get some new signage up. Absolutely. And uh, the new name is Angry German Restaurant and Bakery, right? Absolutely. All right, Dennis, yep. thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we appreciate it and wish you all the best of luck, and we'll be following you as well down the road. Sounds awesome. Thank you so much. You bet.